we see each other. And it's very apropos, I was thinking that we are highlighting Women's Month and our scripture today, as Gloria said earlier, before it started, she actually is the most famous woman in the Bible, unnamed woman in the Bible. So it is interesting that we are doing that today. So if you were very thirsty, it's kind of a little joke in our house that when I have a party, I'll say, what would you like to drink? And I always have about 12 choices in the refrigerator. I say, would you like this? Would you like this? Would you like this? I, I, I over, over buy the drinks. So if it was your favorite go-to drink, what would it be? Water. Water is your favorite go-to drink? Boy, you are healthy people. <laughs> your second go-to drink? Tea? Coffee. Squirt. I have started to embrace Fresca again. Yes, Fresca is wonderful. It's on the squirt thing. Root beer. Okay, so those would be your go-to drink. But I agree, if you were really, really thirsty, then water would be your best choice. And ironically, I bet you all could do this. You could go into your cabinets, and you would have as many water bottles that you could be in the Mojave Desert. <laughs> Would be safe. So I just brought a couple choices here of bottles that were in our cabinet. So we have some, you know, that are symbolizing advertising companies. We have, of course, a Disney one. We have one with a straw. Um, and we probably all have ones that are favorites of ours. But they come, I want you to tell me what's your first thought when you look at them? First thought. Well, no lids, yes, I didn't bother with the lids, that is true. <laughs> but that is true. Better than diversity. Diversity of color. Better than using uh, plastic water. Better than using, there you go, it's good for the environment, I like that. <laughs> they are all different sizes, shapes, colors, way to go. And that's what brings us to our scripture today. Jesus looked at the woman at the well, and first of all, she was a woman. Second of all, she was a Samaritan. Um, uh, um, yes, a Samaritan. Next, next, she was someone who had not made wise choices in her life. He chose not to look at her from the outside. He chose to look at her from the inside. And he spoke to her, as you all know, and we'll see from the scripture, about what living water is. And he cared more about filling her up inside with the love of God than what was on the outside. Because we are all different packaging here. We are all different color, size, shapes, heights, some with lids, some without lids. Yes, <laughs> yes. All different ways are we on the outside. But God cares, as Jesus said to the woman that day, what are you filled up with on the inside? So I want you to think through this, this week, what am I filled up with on the inside? And in the scripture, Jesus talks about being filled up with Jenny, can you be my partner here? You can turn around. With, with our living water that we are filled up with happiness. And you can just hold that because I was going to put that in. But happiness, love, and joy. But the key is, once we're filled up with those things, the key is, as the woman in the scripture ran, to tell everyone about it. And that's the second part we have to remember. Not only are we taking it all in, God's love, but we are pouring it out on one another. Let us pray. Dear God, I am so grateful that you have created us all differently. All different heights, sizes, widths, colors, lids, no lids. I'm glad we are all different. And that you look at us all as your children. Help us to fill ourselves up, especially in these times, with your love and care and happiness and spread it out and pour it out throughout our communities. Amen. <laughs>